Okay, everybody, so I'm kind of excited. I've been going through this uh, OpenGL programming guide, the ninth edition, the big red book, OpenGL version 4.5, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and I ran across, you know, I was reading it, and I figured I'll try to put together the first program in the book. Didn't think it would work, not sure it would work, all that. And then I was trying to include this GL3W, which I looked this up, and this was the thing that um, cemented it in, <laughs> or whatever, made it possible. So basically you just need GL3W.H and GL3W.C, okay? So I went ahead and I put in the project folder, open folder in File Explorer, okay? I've got GL3W.C, which is in the code from the book that I got, uh, which I added to projects. Put all the code from the book right in here so I can look through it. Um, let's see, source, triangles, here's the triangles, which I just took that and I copied it into main. So this is triangles right here. Then I added the load shaders.cpp and I made sure that it I copied all of the um, I copied all of the include files from the book. See, because it's got GL, GL3, and then the include files. Those were here, and then the shapes directory, okay? <clears throat> and then also, see this lib directory? The library directory actually has the gl3w.c and then some other cpp files. So I just use the load shaders. I don't know if I, I don't think I need any of the others yet. So, and then what else did I do? That's pretty much it. And I made sure that the uh, includes would work, which they do. bgl.h, load shaders, okay. And then load shaders again, doesn't need to be there, but whatever. Okay, then I compiled, it worked. Then I ran it and there you go. So it works. So now I'm actually able to follow along with the examples in the book. I hope this helps somebody. I hope this helps people. Um, I still had everything set as far as my directories. I had the include directory and I had the library directory. I didn't change that from what I was using, which I was using this. So that's where I copied all of the .h files and those three directories into. Okay. And then the library files um, directory didn't change. I kept all this stuff that I included before, probably not using all this, maybe glfw3.lib. I hadn't started from scratch with this. <clears throat> I'll probably do that in a future video where I'll start from scratch and do the first um, program just from bare bones as much as possible. But basically as long as it compiles and runs, I'm happy. And as long as I can put it in a video and document it for someone else to hopefully uh, get a kickstart as well. Because I initially when I bought the book, I put a bad review. Um, I was very disappointed that as a raw beginner that you could not pick up the book and start from scratch with compiling right out of the box. Um, might have been a little unrealistic, but you know, you buy a 1500 page book or 900 page book, you think it's going to be able to help you, you know, from page one. <laughs> anyway, so I have been familiar now with OpenGL for a few months since I bought the book. <laughs> Finally able to get into the book and start with page one, so it's very exciting. So stay tuned as I go through, I'm actually up to chapter two, which is Shader Fundamentals, and, uh, and this was really cool because this actually uses some of the, I mean, it uses everything that they talk about in the book create buffers, bind buffer, buffer storage, um, or wait, buffer storage, shouldn't that be, <laughs> hold on, shouldn't that be named buffer storage, yeah, bind buffer, hmm, well anyways, we'll figure it out, uh, it worked, okay, so anyways, all right, I'm just going to end the video quick and simple. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day. <laughs>